What are you doing here? Alright, what is going on guys, it's Taz here, and welcome back to the channel. Now today we've got for you guys is another Arrow video. Real quick here before we start, if you guys missed the news yesterday, Arrow will officially end after a 10 episode run 8th season. I did make a whole video giving you guys my thoughts on it, if you are interested I'll link that up in the cards above, but this truly is the end of an Arrow with the show that started it all coming to an end as all good things must. But like Stephen Amell has said, it's been a good run, it's no supernatural, but it's been a good run. So now back to our regularly scheduled programming. The most recent Arrow episode, episode 14 of season 7 titled Brothers and Sisters, not only gave us some nice bonding moments between the new siblings, Oliver and Amiko, as well as William and Mia within the future, but we also had a couple of pretty big reveals in the episode as well. Starting in the future, Connor Hawk is not John Diggle Jr., but he is in fact Diggle's adopted son, not biological as we once first believed. So I guess Barry yet again messed up the timeline, so Connor Hawk has completely changed as well, so that's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. But I really did love the future interactions in this episode and the slow progression of Mia and William coming together and working to find their mother. So as I've said many times before, very excited for what is in store in this future. But jumping back over to present day though, still kind of related to the future, Felicity was hashtag exposed by her new BFF Laurel. Laurel was able to pick up on the fact that Felicity is pregnant, so I thought that that was pretty funny. And as always, I really did love all of their interactions within this episode as well, it is still pretty weird to think that a Felicity and Laurel friendship could work so well, but it just does. Their scenes in this episode were great, and I just can't wait for more of the two of them. So glad that Black Siren has pretty much fully redeemed herself, that progression from villain to edgy Laurel to almost Earth 1 Laurel has been super great to see play out on screen. But stepping back from one of the best friendships on the show, aside from Felicity telling Oliver that she was pregnant at the end of the episode, the other big part and another main focus of this video is is, of course, on Diaz, the Ghost Initiative, and Dante. We finally get to meet the Dante character that everyone has been talking so much about ever since the early parts of this season. Diggle and Lila led the Ghost Initiative on a mission to find and stop Dante, but to absolutely no surprise, Diaz double-crossed them and helped Dante escape. But while the elusive Dante got away, they were able to find and capture Diaz and throw him back in Slabside, and I'll get back to Mr. Dragon in a second. Another big part throughout the episode, we also had the bond between Oliver and Amiko grow as brother and sister. We even had Amiko wearing this red shirt, maybe foreshadowing Red Arrow, maybe I'm looking way too far into that, but that was just my thought when I first saw her wearing that. But all of that sibling bonding was kind of thrown out the window with the shocking twist reveal that Amiko has some sort of connection and is working with none other than Dante. Earlier on in the episode, when Oliver learned a very valuable lesson about not messing with Amiko's things, he asked her where she got her gear, and now I think we probably know where that most likely comes from, as she has been working with Dante, who I guess is now the big bad, and has been all along this season. So that was a pretty crazy reveal for this episode that I definitely was not expecting. I think in the comics there's some sort of tie with Amiko in the Ninth Circle, which I guess is kind of what they're doing with Dante, so this twist definitely does make sense in that context, I just wasn't expecting it. With that said though, I do think this twist does still leave me with a couple of questions. Are we now to believe that Amiko's whole mission to get revenge for her mother's murder is a lie or is that still a thing? My theory right now is that Dante was the one that killed Amiko's mother, yet Amiko doesn't know it and has somehow found herself wrapped up in all of his Ninth Circle stuff. It seems like that could be the most likely explanation, but as always, we shall see. Moving back over to the dragon, we were hit with another pretty big shot in the form of the apparent death of Diaz. He's in his prison cell at Slabside, gasoline rains down, and someone he apparently recognizes throws a lighter at him and burns him alive, or at least tries to. For me, I feel like this is not going to be the end of Diaz quite yet, but sort of a rebirth for him, fully becoming Richard Dragon, because, you know, dragon's fire, Diaz was set on fire, it just makes sense. This could be the birth of the dragon. There is also a tweet from Kirk Acevedo, who plays Ricardo Diaz that he put out shortly after the episode, 
where he asks if we think Diaz is dead or alive with a little behind the scenes video attached of the filming of his apparent death scene. So based off of this tweet alone, I think it is safe to say that Diaz will return because why else would Kirk tease us like this? He literally says, and I quote, a dragon is raised in fire. So that leads me to believe that this is not his death, but rather some sort of rebirth for Ricardo the Dragon Diaz. And I mean, if he was really gone from the show, he would have put out a goodbye tweet. This tweet makes me think there is definitely more to the story. Maybe we will get some sort of dragon versus Dante showdown towards the end of the season, assuming Diaz really is still alive. But I think the big question from the scene, apart from whether or not Diaz is still alive, is in fact the question of who tried to kill him. I think it is a pretty safe bet to make that Dante is at least somehow behind the attempted murder of one Ricardo Diaz, but if he didn't actually go in and throw the lighter himself, I feel like the other choice could possibly be Amico. Maybe he ended up sending Amico after Diaz. I have absolutely no clue, but I feel like it was most likely somebody that we actually saw within that episode, or somebody that we've seen previously in this season. But with that said, guys, I want to know what you thought about all of this down in the comments below. What was your favorite part of the most recent episode? Do you think Diaz really is dead? Who do you think went after him? And what do you guys think about Dante after his first appearance? I want to know your thoughts on all of this down in the comments below. But until next time, guys, it's been Taz, and I'll see you guys in the next video.